Father, indeed, you've been so good to us. There is none guarded in your presence this morning that cannot speak of your goodness towards us. And as a family gathered, O oh God, before you this morning, we say thank you, O oh God. Father, thank you, O oh God. Our words, O oh God, cannot express it enough. You heal us. You deliver us. You open doors for us. You bless us beyond human understanding. You renew our hope. When we are at the point of giving up, you show us where to turn to. When we are confused, it's all about you, Lord. And we say thank you for every step of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Father in us, O oh God, is deposits your greatness, your power, your wisdom, your understanding, and you yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Father, even if there is some, O oh God, anybody in our midst this morning, who is confused? Who is at a point of giving up? We say thank you that you will lift such a person, oh God, and set that person in his or her place in you. With you, all things are possible. We thank you that we are your sons and daughters. We thank you that we can come to you just as we are. And this morning you made it possible for us to come. We are here. And we know you will bless us. We are here. And we know we will not go back, oh God, the same. We are here. And we know, oh God, that your glory will be revealed in and through our lives. We are grateful. Continue to have your way this morning. To your own praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. This morning I want to share with us briefly. Then we will pray. Briefly then we will pray. As for you, you shall be fruitful. As for you, you shall be fruitful. As for me, I shall be fruitful. Whilst I pondered and looked at this, the scriptures we will be looking at and we'll be praying with. You know a fruit or you know a tree by its fruit. You know a tree by its fruit or you know a fruit by its tree in any way you want to look at it. Mango tree can only attract us most when we have the fruit on it. But then if there are no fruit on it, sometimes we walk past without even looking. 
But if it is a season for it to bear fruit and the fruit on it and like you go to certain places, you see nice apple, it's there very beautiful. You feel like, Charlie, this thing, if I get it, I will go for it. So it is with us. Naturally, you see a small seed. But this seed that is put into the earth has a branch in it, has a leaf in it, has a stem in it, has a root in it. But if the seed is just lying on this lentil, it's just a seed. But until it is planted, then it begins to shoot out and grow and grow and grow. And it gets to the point where now you can say that this tree is being fruitful. Today you might not be seeing the fruit that you expect in your life. But that doesn't mean that you are not meant to be fruitful. If I don't see a fruit today, it doesn't mean that it is not in me to be fruitful. So let's note it. Sometimes we look down upon ourselves because we think, oh, others are making it. Others are fruitful and we are not. So we think that for me, nothing good can come out of me. But in you is that fruit the Lord has deposited that will change the course of others. Let's go to the scripture, then we will pray. Genesis 9. Genesis chapter 9. I read from verse 1. This time, I'll do the NIV. <laughs> NIV by 8, but we'll do the NIV. Then God blessed Noah and his son. want us to pause. And in place of Noah, can you put your name there? This is a family service. I don't rush myself. Oh, you don't believe it. Put your name there. I say put your name there. My friend, the little one, put your name there. And God blessed Ariel. And God blessed James. And God blessed Caleb. And God blessed David. And his sons. You see, the blessings of God is only not on Lady Pastor Ruby. But when God blessed her, it must follow through. So as a congregation gathered like this, if the Lord bless, it must affect every single one seated here this morning. And God bless Noah and his son, saying to them, if somebody say God bless, it means that God bless. But whatever the blessings was, God said it. Sometimes that is where we miss it. God bless me. What blessing are you looking for? What blessing are you looking for? Let me pick it from the top again. Then God blessed Noah and his son, saying to them, Be. The blessings of God was pronounced. The blessings of God was not left in hanging. So that if Noah tomorrow is being fruitful, he knows that God opened his mouth and said, be fruitful. So tomorrow when you say God bless somebody, what are you looking at? When I say Pastor James, God bless you, what am I looking at? Will I be like God? I will say, my dear, be fruitful in every area of your life. That that which your hand will hold, may he increase, may he multiply. God blessed Noah and his sons. He didn't leave it there. By saying, 
be fruitful, increase in number, and fill the earth. Liberty Grace Life Chapel. This morning, God is saying to us, be fruitful. My brothers and sisters, the young ones, God is saying what to us this morning. We should be what? We should be what? We should be what? Exactly. An increase in number. And fill the earth. At this point in time, Noah and his sons, they have escaped the wrath that came on earth. And you and I, we have also escaped the wrath that is to come. Because Christ Jesus showed us. Ephesians 2, we see verse 3. So let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it quickly. Then we'll come back. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our sinful nature and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature objects of wrath. So like the water swept over the face of the earth and carried every single person who could not make it to the ark. And after they have come out of the ark, the first thing God will say to him is that, Noah, you and your son, I want to bless you. But the first thing I want to say to you is that you must be fruitful. They came out of the ark to an empty land. There was nothing. There was nothing. So maybe today you, you just step into this place and you look into your life, there is nothing. But God knows what is ahead of you. Family, God knows what is ahead of us. Maybe you go to the office, you come home at the end of the month and you don't know, you don't have anything to show. But God knows that you are meant to be fruitful. That whatsoever you do, it must increase. That whatsoever you do, you must fill the earth. Just a few people, God is instructing them. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. And it is my place to be fruitful. If God didn't want them to be fruitful, he won't say it. God won't say it. Verse 2, let's build on, let's go back, Genesis, verse 2, let's build up. In, in, last week I gave time and this man here signaled me and I ran home. Let's, let's go to 7, let's go to 7, so that we will erase the rest and we will pray with it. God comes up again, ask for you, ask for you, if nobody in this life, Auntie Joyce will be fruitful. As for you, you must be fruitful. If nobody here says, oh me, I won't be fruitful. As for you, seated in the presence of God, you must be fruitful. If anything out there decides that we, we have decided to fail, but you seated here, my dear Little brothers and sisters, you must be fruitful. As for you, be fruitful and increase in number, multiply on the earth and upon and increase upon it. Not in heaven. You see, we are not waiting until when we get to heaven, we celebrate. Get the best things that the Lord has ordained for you on this earth. And be a blessing unto the people that are out there. When we go to heaven, what are we going to do? No. W would you need a car to travel from Accra to my hometown? No. Would you need a good car to travel? Because if you don't use a good car, you might not end there. 
So the good cars are meant to be used here. A good lifestyle are meant to be used here. Going out there and coming in and the Lord bless you and there is an overflow for others to be blessed and that you is meant here. So he says that increase in number, multiply on the earth. Not up there. When we are done here, we are done. That chapter is closed. So it is here that I must be fruitful. It is here on earth, family. It is here on earth. Because when I bear fruit as a tree, which are the people who enjoy, is it the, the tree itself? No, is it the tree itself? It is not the tree itself. So if I am fruitful with the works of my hands, it is others that will enjoy it. So God knew what he was saying. He said, no, I ask for you. If others who will come after you will say that we don't want to be fruitful, but you know what, unquan die, the account man will say, you must be fruitful. And I challenge somebody this morning that it works in ministry, in this life, in your family, in your academics, you must believe God that God, you ordain me to be fruitful in this place. In Genesis, when he created man, what did he say to man? Be fruitful. After the flood, he shows up in the life of man and he says, be fruitful. It means that as that seed that is put into that earth, you have that ability to increase and to fill the earth. Let nobody stop you. Let nobody hold you back. Let nobody make you feel like. Can you imagine a seed that is going to be put into the earth? He's saying to the person putting the seed into the earth that, you know me, I can't bear fruit. Eh? I'm not fruitful. Eh? I'm not fruit. No. Can you imagine? Will you hold such a seed? Will you hold such a seed? No. One last scripture, then we'll pray. And any time I... I speak this scripture. I thank God for the life of Reverend Martha. He opened the scripture and this scripture opened a certain perspective into my life. Luke chapter 13, verse 6 to 9. Luke 13, 6 to 9. We know the parable. They came to Pilate, uh, Jesus, and said, Pilate missed the blood of certain people and made sacrifices. And the, the, the wall of Simeon fell on a group of people. And Jesus Christ addressed this through a parable. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he went to look for fruit on it. Look at it. This morning, the Lord is coming to you, into your life. This year, he's looking at you, Miriam. Are you fruitful? Have you been fruitful? He comes this year and he looks at you. No, there is no fruit on that fig tree that I planted. He comes. He's looking for a fruit. So maybe this year will pass. The next year will pass. He comes. He's looking for fruit and he's not finding fruit on that fig tree. But did not find any. When he comes, will he find fruit on that tree? Maybe today he might not find fruit on that tree. But you are meant to be fruitful. You are meant to be fruitful. Let's, let's go on. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, for three years now, I have been coming to look for fruit on the fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year. Leave it alone for one more year. And I 
I would eat around it and fertilize it. It means that if I am not fruitful, there is something that ought to be done. He said, I would dig around it. I will add manure to it. And come look again. Because that is what needs to be done. For the fruit to break out of it. So if I am not being fruitful, am I looking into myself? What is making me not being fruitful in this house? At my workplace, is there any digging that must be done? Is there any manure that must be added on? Then allow yourself, verse 9, verse 9. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. A fruit bearing tree must look out that me, this is what God ordained for me, that I must be fruitful. And fruitful will I be. If I am not seeing it, this morning, I want to dig around it. This morning, I want to come before him and say, Lord, this is my life. What I want to see, I am not seeing. The fruit that I must bring to you, the fruit of righteousness, the acts of righteousness that I must bear forth, that others, or the fruit of the spirit that I must bring forth, I am not seeing it. That creativity, that ability to turn things, that others will benefit from it. Lord, I am not seeing it. But he said, as for you. His word is that, as for me, I must be fruitful. And fruitful I will be this morning. And fruitful I will be. So that when he comes next year, he will find fruit on the tree. Because that tree was meant to be fruitful. I want you to reach out your hand to somebody and hold the person's hand and say, ask for you. Ask for you. Ask for you. You must be fruitful. Ask for you. You must be fruitful. My, my, my uh, David and co. just walk into, go and sit by, like you see Pastor James went to Auntie Joyce. We're going to pray. So find, find an auntie, find a brother, and the aunties too, find, find the younger ones and hold hands with them. We are going to declare this morning, none will leave the presence of God not being fruitful. Walk to somebody. I want to see everybody having somebody, holding hands with somebody. And making that declaration. Uh, young man, uh, Abigail, please can you uh, hold hands with, with, with this young man for me. Are you holding hands with somebody? So I told release your dear sister uh -huh, and, and come to Bismarck. Oh, Bismarck, you have somebody. I feel you can come. If, if there is nobody left there, we can come. God blessed Noah and his son by speaking. So that is what this morning we are going to do, okay? That is what this morning we are going to do. So... I will look at, hey, Jojo, where is Jovai? Where's Jovai, Jovai? So I will tell him, as for you, you must be fruitful. As for you, you must be fruitful. As for you, you must increase. As for you, you must fill the earth. God's potential is in you. To be fruitful, to be fruitful, God's potential, God's grace is upon you, is upon you that you will flourish in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever God has called you that to be fruitful, you will be fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I think we can do it better by standing. We're going to pray. Can you give me the verse 7? Genesis 9 verse 7.
let's do it this way first. As for me, I will be fruitful. We as a church, we shall be fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We shall increase in number. We shall multiply on this earth. Our resources will multiply. Our resources will multiply. There will be creativity among us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall increase in our number. We shall increase in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As for me, I shall be fruitful. And I say to you, Kwamina, and I say to you, Kwamina, you shall be fruitful. You shall be fruitful. You will break out. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, nothing will hinder you. Brethren, in the Luke chapter, the gardener said, if something has impeded, I am going to dig around it. I am going to dig around it. Anything that is not allowing the water of the Holy Spirit to flow among us, that which is restricting and holding us uh, and limiting us, uh, we could see our children came here, our children, they, shall be, they should be free and, and, and exhibit the, the goodness of God in and through them. But some of them are shy. That will not be our story. Family, that will not be our story. As for us, the Lord says we should be fruitful. As for us, the Lord says we should be fruitful. So we're going to pray that anything that has impeded you coming over the years, he said every year he comes and he's not finding fruit. Every year he comes, he's not finding creativity. Every year he comes, he's not seeing anything. But we are declaring uh, that from this day forth, uh, when the Lord shows up, uh, he will see fruit in your life. Uh, there will be creativity. There will be a stirring uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That whatsoever that has held you bound uh, over the years, uh, in the name of uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, I declare over your life uh, that you will be fruitful. That you will be fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the grounds must be broken. Uh, the grounds must be broken. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the grounds must be broken uh, by the power. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we declare by the word of the Lord uh, that you shall be fruitful. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, that you shall be fruitful. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, that you shall be fruitful. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we declare this morning uh, that we shall be fruitful. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he said, I will dig around it. Uh, I will dig around it. Uh, I will dig around it. Uh, anything that must be broken. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, anything that must be broken. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and my brother coming uh, will assume his place uh, of fruitfulness. Uh, we declare it broken. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, anything that must be released uh, upon your life. Uh, anything that must be released uh, upon us. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, I will fertilize it. Kaya Baba. Leba katone branda kate. Le branda baba rikate. Le parikete ruanda baba. Kala parikete. Le branda baba de ikate. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kale pariende kate. Raba parine be makate. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, at which point do we need fertilizer? When the, the soil has lost its nutrient, so they add it to it so that it can assume its original place. So I look at Kwamina, I said, That which has taken the deposit of God from this life 
and you are not who he has ordained you to be, I declare that the heavens will open over you, that the Lord will pour forth, uh, the Lord will refresh you again, uh, the Lord will strengthen you again. Uh, anything that lasts in your life, uh, I speak it into your life. Because there should be a lot before a fertilizer is applied. So I hold him and I say, Kwabina, you will not lack uh, that which should make you fruitful. You will not lack that which should make you fruitful. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, you want to pray for the person. Uh, you are holding the hands uh, that he, will, he or she will not lack. Uh, he will not lack. Uh, he will not lack uh, the grace of God. Uh, he will not lack uh, the power of God. Uh, he will not lack. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the Bible says uh, we can do all things. Uh, through him who strengthens us uh, in Jesus' name. Let's speak Isaiah 51. Isaiah 51. Come and I come closer. Don't restrict yourself. Okay. You know answers, Daddy. You know answers. Isaiah 51, verse 2. Isaiah 51, verse 2. It says, Look. Let's start from verse 1. Let's start from verse 1. Listen to me. You who pursue righteousness. Are we pursuers of righteousness? No. Are we pursuers of righteousness? We are pursuers of righteousness. Listen to me. So I'm paying attention. You who pursue righteousness. And who seeks the Lord. I'm a seeker of the Lord. Look to the rock. From which you were cut. So if I am not being fruitful, I am looking to Jesus Christ, who says to me, As for you, you must be fruitful. If I am not seeing fruits out of my life, out of the work I do in my business, in my career, I am looking out to Him who makes all things possible. Maybe you are not understanding. They will say you don't have that which it takes to bring forth fruits. But I will look up to him. He is the rock from which I have been cut from. And to the quarry from which you were hewn. Verse 2. Look to Abraham, your father, and Sarah, who gave birth, who, who gave you birth. When I call him, he was, but you don't understand it. Like Kwamina, when I call Kwamina, he was only one. And excuse me, when he grows and he marries, he asks another woman to eat. But look at it. The Lord says that I started with one person. Even at the age of 100, when men will say that, oh, that chapter has been closed. That was the time the Lord showed up. So if you are discouraged and say, I have not been fruitful with the works of my hands, the Lord says, look at the rock from which you were cut. And this morning I'm going to look to him. Who makes all things beautiful? Who makes all things beautiful in this time? I am going to look at him uh, who called Abraham and called Sarah. And Sarah at the age of 90, the Bible says it has ceased to be with her as it was with women. Uh, but yet still, in her old age, she conceived, she became fruitful. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the When I called him, he was but one. And I blessed him and made him many. Hallelujah. So what are we going to do? Lord, bless us. Come, in, uh, come along. Lord, bless us. Lord, bless us. Lord, bless us. Uh, and make us many. Lord, bless us. Uh, and make us many. Lord, bless us. Uh, we look to you this morning. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, bless our children. Uh, and make us many. Lord, bless us. Uh, and make us many. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, bless your church. Uh, Lord, bless our children. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, let us oh God, be fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
He said, when I call him, I bless him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, when I call him, I bless him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the blessings of the Lord come upon us, come upon our children in Jesus' name. I called him as one person. He said, Abraham, I will bless you and make you a blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, it is a fruitful life that becomes a blessing. It is a fruitful ministry that becomes a blessing. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we declare this morning uh, that we are a people that are blessed uh, by the Lord. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And our last prayer point. Psalm chapter 1, verse 3. We know the beginning. It compares the wicked and it compares the righteous. It said he is like a tree. You are like a tree. Planted by the streams of waters. You are like a tree. Whoever you are, you are holding hands with, you are going to declare you are like a tree. You are like a tree. You are planted by the rivers of waters. You are planted by the rivers of waters. You are planted by the rivers of waters. You see this one? Give me the King James, okay? This one, give me the King James. <coughs> and he shall be like a tree, come and I say to you, you will be like a tree. You will be like a tree. You will be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. Planted by the rivers of waters in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That which must sustain you and must make you fruitful. You are planted by it. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, you will not dry up. You will not dry up. You will not dry up. You shall become fresh. All the time you shall be renewed uh, because you are planted uh, by the rivers of water. You are planted uh, by the rivers of water. You are planted uh, by the rivers of water. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, you will not lose your ability to become fruitful. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are planted by the rivers of waters. That bring forth his, his fruit in his season. I want to say, as I said to him, family, our season will not pass. Family, our season will not pass. Quite, I say to you, if the Lord has ordained any of you to manifest the giftings of God uh, in this season, uh, I declare by the word of the Lord, uh, your season will not pass. You see, sometimes we look at the people that have gone ahead of us, and it seems our season will never come. But according to the word of the Lord, he said, that bring forth his fruits in his season. My season will not pass. My dear auntie, my dear sister, my dear brother, your season will not pass. You want to declare that my season, our season will not pass. Open your mouth and begin to pray that my season will not pass. My season of fruitfulness, my season of breaking forth, my season in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that season will not pass. That season will not pass in the name of the... Of the Lord Jesus Christ. His leaves shall, his leaves also shall not wither. You see a wither leaves. It means that right from the roots, something is taking place. But we, our leaves shall not wither. Physically, brethren, as we pray, physically, if there is something going wrong with this body of yours, uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, receive a renewer. Receive a renewer.
renewer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, because the waters by which we are planted uh, is the water that carries healing. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, you will not lose your potency. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, he said he leaves, uh, his leaves shall not wither. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, his leaves shall not wither. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, whatsoever, hallelujah, whatsoever, say it, whatsoever, 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 whatsoever you do it, whatsoever you do it, you will prosper, you will prosper, you will prosper, whatsoever, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, academically, you will prosper, in career-wise, you will prosper, in ministry-wise, you will prosper, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatsoever you do, you will prosper, in Jesus' name. Kayandalababru. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, if the Lord says whatsoever, let me say this. Even if you start selling charcoal from today, you will prosper. If you start another course, because you think I have come to an end of the journey, you will prosper. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, give me the Genesis 9 verse 20. Let's look at what. Noah did. After the Lord has blessed him, what I want to say is that when you step out there, as the Lord has stirred up uh, his ability for you to be fruitful, whatever you want to do, go and do it and prosper in it. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That which has failed in your hands, uh, go back to it uh, and see it flourish uh, and see it blossom uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, because he said, whatsoever you do, it means that I'm a, I, I shouldn't sit idle. It means that I shouldn't sit idle. And my little one, like David, when you go to sit by your books, you will prosper. Whatever you choose to study, as you grow up in this life, you will prosper. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, as you take the decision uh, that this will be my career path, uh, others might have failed in your family, but I declare by the word of the Lord uh, that you will prosper. That is what it means. And this is what it means to our children also. You will fail. You will fail. You will fail. You can only fail in ungodliness. I say it. You can only fail in things that God has not ordained you to work in them. And when you fail in them, it is perfect. Okay? Like a man grows up and says, me, I want to be a woman. That one, you fail. Even that one, thing, that thing, I, I feel, I feel, I will, will die. Hallelujah. Because that is not what God has ordained you. What, but whatsoever, beside the ungodliness, you will prosper in it in Jesus' name. Noah, a man of the soil, proceeded to plant a vineyard. God has blessed him, but he didn't sit. So that something will happen somewhere. So my dear children... God has blessed you, David, to your Nyaka and the rest. That when you sit and you study, whatsoever you study, you yourself will be amazed. Hey, all of a sudden, all of a sudden I study and like, I remember everything. Wow. That is who you are. That is the seed you carry in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are releasing ourselves into the things that God has ordained us to be in. Like my dear brother now, he's schooling. So I am releasing him into that fullness of academic excellence. Into that fullness of godliness. Into that fullness that God has ordained him. If there is any creativity, we are not waiting until he's my age before. That every resource is coming. 
you will grow into it and you will become. You will become. You will become. You will become. When you are looking for people, they will also look to Ghana also. When they are looking, they will also look to Ghana and say, hey, a 19-year-old with his doctrine. That is the doing of the Lord. It is possible. It is possible. So let's pray and release each other into the things that God has said. He said whatsoever. So you are releasing that person in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That as you step out there and as you go about that business, may you prosper in it. May you succeed in it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never fail. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never fail in it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never fail in it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> he leaded me. He leaded me. Oh, hands me. He will lead us. Me. Let's, let's sing. His He will lead us. He will lead us. Again, you can sing. We have come to draw. I want everybody to be ready. Are we okay? Say this, Lord Jesus. This is your body that was broken for me. He said, I should do this in remembrance of you that you died for me and you died with me and you resurrected into newness of life and you resurrected with me and I am seated with you in high places. I acknowledge this morning that your body was broken for me, that I will not be broken. I receive this body with thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. With one accord, shall we take his body that was broken for us. And this is the cup. Let's say it together. And this is the cup of the new covenant between God and his people. Lord Jesus, a renewer of covenant between you and your sons and daughters. I receive your blood that was shed for me. That was shed for me. That by this blood, I overcome every infirmity in this body, every weakness. I receive strength through this blood to overcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I declare my covenant with you is renewed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shall we with one accord? 
shed his blood. And that was shed for us. Take your 